G'day. This video is about making a part to prove a program that I've written for a friend who has one of these layers with no turret. I started off looking at it just to prove the program but it got more involved and I ended up doing some tool compensation, tool nose radius compensation work on this. So I've done these diagrams after the videos to actually try and help show how it all is done manually. The Hercus software follows a point tool so you have to offset with a larger radius when it's an external radius to compensate for that tool path. Here is a picture of a small radius, a 2mm radius using a 0.2 radius tool which um, you can see quite clearly there's a big difference between where the nose of the radius of the nose on the tool is going to travel compared with the point that the Herka software uses. And it's quite noticeable on that sort of size. That's why I scaled it down. Here's a look at the tool paths using a parting tool. I wondered if I could do it with a parting tool. And yes, I was able to do it with a parting tool. The 2mm there is the width of the tool, so one radius is with the left side of the tool, one radius is with the right side of the parting tool, but you need that 2mm gap in between. So the first part we're making with a 9mm radius, and really it could have stopped there. Um, these parts are going to be painted, um, the finish isn't that important. The trueness of the sphere is not important. Uh, I guess I just went a bit silly and wanted to get it right. I think as much as anything, I wanted to prove that you could do it with a parting tool and get a reasonable sphere as an end result. And that tool being off centre doesn't help much. Here I've slowed the video down so you can see the tool starting the cut to the right that is actually traveling parallel with the center line of the lathe um, in the next one not only do I use a different radius but I've actually brought the tool in at a tangent to the uh, start of the radius parting tool doesn't seem to be having too much trouble with it but it's not quite right Parts a little bit oversized, which really wouldn't have mattered. I could have let it go. Um, but here's some measurements of the thing. Um, I set the caliper to zero because being a bit oversized it ended up with numbers being displayed that were difficult to make any sense of. But across both 45 degree angles of the sphere, the part was about. 0.12 larger than it was in the center diameter. Um, I don't really know why. A low tool will cut oversize, but that much? I didn't think so. I drew it out graphically and it was about half of what we're getting there. You see the radius there doesn't quite look the same as the radius on the two sides of it. But I mean, it's not a bad looking part. We'd certainly have done the job. But I sort of thought, let's try and get it right. I've got five of these programs to write. That funny mark on the part on the stock is because it's actually hex that I knocked the corners off. Just didn't want to do it in the in the Hercus because I didn't need to have the tool starting out that far. So I just knocked it off in my manual lathe. These grooves are 1.8 apart. So there's no fins being uh, created. Looks much nicer, doesn't it, when the part's on centre? When the tool's on centre? That's just knocking off the lumps. And that's going in on a very slight angle. It's about one degree. Could possibly have been more, but... I ended up with a good enough result not to have to try anymore. 
at least if I ever have to make a perfect sphere I have some ideas of what to use to try and get it to work properly you can see it's now cutting on the center of the tool and be changing over to the left corner it's removing material nicely there you go again there it goes and that's come in on a bit of an angle now visually here you can see what looks like a flat but it's not it's just where the tool has come in and you can see I think in the next picture that it's really not a bad radius so let's have a look now that radius looks pretty much the same to me as what it is either side so that's certainly good enough for the part this was very close to being set dead on size so I didn't bother to set the caliper to zero and measuring across the diameter pretty much the same and it was pretty much the same in both directions so that was using 9.2 so basically for external radius you have to take the radius and add to it the radius of your tool so that's the parts and the programs good to go so I can send it off to the UK with no problems thank you for watching